Hi all, welcome to my channel, welcome to my world, to the world away. We've now got part 17 of Hachette Part Works Build Your Own Terminator. Okay, so in this one, we're going to be doing the uh, top of the head. And for some random reason, we're going to go back to doing the palm. And you'll see what I mean with that when you look at the instructions for this. Uh, as I said, this is part 17. Uh, if we have a look at this now... As you can see, we've got the cranium there, and what we're going to be doing is attaching the side pieces on this, and then we've got some ball joints which are going on the other side of the palm that we made. And what I mean by random is, as you can see, we're going to be putting the left and right side pieces on, and then suddenly we just jump to the uh, palm. So we're going to be putting some ball joints just on the back here. They're not actually joints, I think that's just decoration. There's only three to put on, so at the end of this, we're just going to be having uh, the sort of side piece of the cranium and head there, and we've got the palm. Uh, I might just give you a little bit of a spoiler uh, at the end of this video, just showing you uh, what it looks like, the head complete, if I hold it together. And just uh, some expert tips about using a magnetic screwdriver. All the screwdrivers I use are magnetic. In the next issue, we're going to be inserting and securing the eye motor in the casing of the head, ready to uh, move those LED uh, eyes around. So that'll be out next week. Uh, other than that, not really much to do in this issue by the look of it, but uh, I'm sure we're going to make the best of it. Let's get cracking. Now, first off, let's just talk about the screws. We've got five times PM screws, and then we've got KB screws, I think they're calling them. Now, the KB screws are the longer ones. So I'm just separating those out now, just to put them to one side. Uh, I've got four of the KB ones and looks like five of the uh, PM ones. And what we're going to need is some of the parts from some previous issues. So we've got the left and right sides of the head there looking just like that. And then in this one we get the cranium which is obviously metal. Uh, which uh, mirrors everything else that we had from all the other issues. And then all we're going to do is we're going to be attaching by these two holes here into these two joints just on there like that. Uh, to the cranium uh, with PB screws. So uh, let's get those two of those now. Now I keep saying PB screws. I don't mean that. I mean PM screws. Why am I saying PB? I don't know. It's PM screws. So put them in. And obviously these are the shorter of the two. So here's the first one going in. Absolutely lovely. This is probably going to be one of the easiest issues because uh, I can't see anything going wrong with this one. But uh, <laughs> with my luck with things, <laughs> things always go wrong. Okay, so here's the second one, just inside the, uh, this would be the left side of the head, I guess. Uh, they do take some screwing, actually. To say how small the screws are, they uh, do seem to be going in quite a long way. I'm just going to tighten this one up, because I'm not happy how that one went in. There we go, and that's nice and tight. So there we go, we've got the first pieces on there. That looks really good, doesn't it? <laughs> and then we're going to do the same on the other side. So once again, we've got two holes here. They're just going to fit over here, just like this. Make sure it's lined up properly. There we go. And then we're going to be putting in, again, some PM screws, which is going to leave me one spare. I do like the uh, this build because every issue I get one spare, and I do keep them in a pill box so I can differentiate them. Um, not that I'm ever going to need them again, but they do come in handy for other builds. You see, you can never have too many screws. So let's just put the last screw in here now. Nice and tight. There we go. And there we go. It's got the side pieces on there and there. Now, before we go randomly to the uh, palm, let me show you what this looks like if we actually put the whole head together now. There you go. It's very crude how I've helped put this together. But this is sort of like what the completed head is going to look like. Uh, what do you think of that? It's going to take some doing getting all of that together and I am holding this together <laughs> for the dear love of God because it's going to fall apart. And obviously these wires don't come out the mouth, they go down the neck. Uh, but that's the best I could do just to show you what that looks like. That is really impressive. Uh, just looking at it in my hands, it's probably about 20 to 25 centimetres uh, from the bottom here to the top. So there's my hand for scale. Uh, looking pretty cool actually isn't it let's get on with the palm so as you can see I've got the palm piece over here now and all we're going to be doing is focusing on these three holes just in the base here because we've got these uh, sort of ball joints that are going to be going on there and these are going to be held in with the KB screws that we got they're going to be going on this way so obviously the fingers are this side these are going to be going down that side they're going to go on just like this and they'll be secured from the other side here let's just show you that with the KB screw. So let's get one of them in now. 
And it's probably best when you're screwing these in to hold it as hard as you can with your finger to stop it turning because uh, it is directional and then screw it in. And as long as you're pushing down on it, it won't turn in your hand, which will enable you to screw that in nice and tight. So once it's tight, that's what it's going to look like on that side there. And we keep continuing now with the other two. Once again, nice and tough, holding that in with my finger. Load up the screw. And then screw that in just like this. The harder you push down on this, the better, I think, because as you can see, if it comes out, then you're going to have a bad time. <laughs> That's number two in. You really do have to look, look how the dent in my finger there by how tight I have to push that in to stop it coming out. And we're going to do the last one. That's just going to go in this side here. And we'll get that last screw in just there. And this is the last one in there now. I'm telling you, that wasn't easy at all. <laughs> but those, those three in there like that. Obviously, these are the fingers that we saw from the last issue. Uh, still nice and rigid, as you can see, so uh, they're not all flying all over the place uh, since I did that fix on it. Uh, and that is that arm, uh, hand done. That's the right hand. Uh, and obviously, we finished this in this issue here as well. Uh, let me just take the front piece off. Uh, the cranium was completed in this one as well. So they're all we got to do in the next two issues. As I said, we're going to be installing the motor to uh, operate the LED eyes in the next issue. That will be coming next week, hopefully Tuesday, probably Wednesday. Uh, in the meantime, we've got the Bismarck coming out tomorrow. I've got that here, just behind me. It's got the little remote uh, control in it which is going to enable me to uh, move the gun around and make the anchors go up and down uh, I've got a live stream on Thursday I should have a DeLorean on Thursday as well and then Saturday I'm off to Portsmouth to go and uh, film the victory and get some pictures all ready for the victory which is in oh, can you see this box here that's pack one ready to go uh, I'm allowing two years for that some people are saying it's going to take longer but we'll see because it's going to be a real tough build uh, but that's the victory when it comes around uh, if you did like that video please remember to give it a like and if you haven't subscribed already please can I implore you just give me a subscription and tick that little bell note uh, icon and I will notify you every time uh, one of my new videos comes up other than that take care thanks for watching if you like this video please remember to give it a like and if you haven't done so already please remember to subscribe take care